Hello everyone, this is Dylan from Elemental Garage. Uh, we just got this bin pack 10K lift uh, put in a couple days ago. I've been uh, working on the wiring for it. Um, and I wanted to go over how this gets wired. Um, Benpak does provide instructions. They're not great. Um, you know, they do have a wiring diagram, but they say, hey, you know, uh, hire an electrician for this. Um, for anybody that's, you know, fairly competent with electricity, um, you don't necessarily need to have one come out if you know how to run circuits um, and, you know, put a safety and thermal shutoff switch and all that good stuff. Um, but the one thing that does leave a little to be desired, I think, in their instructions is wiring of the actual motor and the lift itself, especially if you have one of these overhead safety switches. Um, so I'm going to go over what that looks like today. There's a couple videos already out there. Um, one just really talks about um, the theoretical, you know, it has uh, somebody drawn like hand diagrams with it. Um, you know, that's maybe informative so, to some types of learners. It, it wasn't super helpful to me. There's another where a guy goes over the wiring, but he's also wiring in a 110 um, outlet as well. So he's got that mixed in there and he's pulling, um, you know, two different uh, uh, 110 legs to make a 220 um, off two separate circuits, which is not really a good idea for, for a couple of reasons that, you know, any of your electrician buddies can probably tell you. So anyway, I'm going to try and show you just kind of a clean, um, clean install here. So I've run a uh, 10 gauge, uh, thin wire. I call it thin wire and a THHN, um, um, to the lift, you know, through this EMT conduit. Um, this doesn't require a neutral. I went ahead and ran the neutral anyway, because, you know, I just, Anytime I wire in a new circuit for a welder or a CNC or anything, I always run the four wires because you just never know what, what's going to be in that spot in the future. So if I ever move this lift and put something else here um, that's, you know, good for up to 30 amps, then um, I don't have to pull a new wire through a conduit. It's already there. So uh, just to start, here's my four wires for the conduit uh, or for the, the circuit that I ran that's bringing power in. So these three wires down here. Uh, are the wires that go to the motor. And these two right here are for your overhead switch. So if you're not using an overhead switch, um, a safety switch, then the wiring's pretty simple. You connect hot to motor black, hot to motor white, and ground goes to ground. And in this case, I would cap my neutral because I'm not using it in this installation here. But if you have an overhead safety switch, um, so if you're, you know, raising the vehicle and you get too high, it's going to trigger that switch, which is going to kill one leg of your 120, sorry, one leg of your 240 to make it 120 and effectively just kill the lift so you don't crush your roof. Um, the install is a little bit different. So um, the wire colors don't really matter as much, you know, with the exception of ground. Um, you know, in this instance, you know, this white uh, is, you know, the second leg of motor power, for example, my white um, and most house wiring applications is is white. That's a neutral. Um, so I'm going to walk you through um, how to do this. And I'm going to prescribe colors just because if you follow it, it's going to be really simple. If you know wiring and you want to run, you know, black to red instead of white to red or whatever the case may be, you can do that. But if you follow what I'm going to do, it's going to be pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect one leg of my 220 um, directly to the motor. So I'm going to go black to black. And then instead of connecting my other leg of power um, to the white side of the motor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect red to red. And what that's going to do is it's going to pass the electricity from the red up through the safety switch. And then it's going to come back down through this black wire. And so this black wire is actually going to now connect to the white of the motor um, and then ground is going to go to ground. And what's that that's going to do is it's going to pass power and power will be, you know, always flowing through this right here, which goes up through the safety switch until that safety switch gets tripped by the top of the vehicle and then power is going to be cut. So um, I'm holding the camera with one hand. It's, it's hard to do the wiring with just one hand. So I'm going to set the camera down um, and then I'll come back and show you how it's all connected. All right, we're back. We've got it wired in. I'm just going to walk you through it. Before I do, I'm going to show you what I'm using. So I, I'm not a huge fan of wire nuts. Um, so I like these um, Wago lever lock connectors. 
Um, this is a 30 amp install. They actually do make, um, so, so most of the things you'd probably be familiar with are for you know 15 to 20 amp, but they do actually now make a um, 30 amp rated uh, lever lock style um, electrical connector. So that's what I'm using. You can see on the left here how much bigger the um, uh, two post version is um, than the uh, 20 amp rated version. So I'm using those in here because I just really don't like uh, wire nuts that much. So anyway, back to the wiring. Um, so as I mentioned, so from my incoming power, I wired my black leg. So my, my four wires that I pulled are black, white, red, green. White, um, which is my neutral, I have just capped and that's gonna just sit back in there. We're not using that. That's just for future, future proofing, future use. Black wire of my incoming power gets tied to the black of the motor. The red of my line power gets tied to the red of the overhead safety switch. The black of the overhead safety switch bringing the power back to the motor gets tied in to the um, white of the motor. So that completes the circuit so long as that switch is open. And green from my uh, incoming line gets tied to the ground of the motor. So with all that, it should be good to go. Uh, I'm just waiting on a safety and thermal switch to uh, finish the wiring. And once that's done, I'll um, do another video and show you this in action. But if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm by no means an expert. I just made this because uh, I found the, you know, I, for me, videos is, uh, are a lot easier to follow than um, sometimes wiring diagrams. So I made this hoping to help somebody. If it helped you, awesome. If not, uh, let me know how I can improve it. And uh, yeah, thank you much. Good luck with your install.